Welcome to the weekly market update from Signature Wealth Management. I'm Brian Ransom, Research Director from Signature Wealth, and here's what happened in the market this week. The quiet month continues for the stock market. While the general trend has been higher, volatility in the stock market has been very limited recently as the market has largely moved sideways since the end of May. Currently, the S&P 500 sits near all-time highs as we enter into the summer months. This week marks the annual meeting of the Group of Seven, more commonly known as the G7. This group of wealthy democracies include the United Kingdom, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and the United States, as well as representatives from the EU. This club represents enough global wealth that can effectively drive and dictate changes to the global economy. This year, the G7 is proposing changes to the global taxation system including a global minimum 15% corporate tax rate, as well as reforms to corporate taxation by headquarters location. While the 15% global minimum tax rate is pretty straightforward, the headquarters reforms are not. So here's a breakdown of the proposed changes. Currently, corporations are taxed based on where their headquarters are located. As an example, company XYZ is headquartered in the UK but sells products in the United States. On a very basic level, XYZ pays its corporate taxes to the UK regardless of where it sells its products. Under this format, company XYZ is incentivized to headquarter in whichever country has the lowest corporate tax rate regardless of where they do their business. Under the proposed system, countries will have the right to tax 20% of profits above a 10% profit margin where products are consumed. As an example, company XYZ generates $200 of profit on $1,000 of revenue or a profit margin of 20%. In this case, the United States has the right to tax 20% of $100 and generate $20 in taxes. The remaining $100 of profit are taxed as usual in the UK. The Wall Street Journal reports that only the largest and most profitable companies would be affected under the proposal. But this new system should help limit the use of tax havens in the global economy. For more information on this topic or a variety of other topics, including market updates, financial planning, and wealth management, please click the Learn More button or the link in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.